Hi there, and welcome to another Ask James, brought to you by Bridgestone, where we try to tackle your hardest pressing questions online using the hashtag Ask James. And this week's question, well, it's a recurring one. Is maybe you can help share your thoughts regarding overtaking lane and maximum speed limit. I have posted some of my opinions on this post since what I believe is if you are cruising at the top speed of the expressway, you can stay at the leftmost or overtaking lane from start to end point because if you go faster, then it is considered overspeeding. I'm raising this concern as well as I think many Filipino drivers are either not knowledgeable or confused about the road rules and regulations which result in these kinds of situations. We need to talk. All right. I'll make it as simple as possible. Firstly, I know where you're coming from. You're trying to make it a safer place for everybody. But what ends up happening is you actually make things more dangerous. Number one, you are also breaking the law. And number two, nobody voted you in as a human speed limiter. So stop trying to do the authority's job. Let them tackle that. If somebody's doing 200, 300, doesn't matter. That is not for you to try to get in the way because all that's gonna end up happening here are people gonna go around you. So they're gonna overtake on the wrong side. You're not gonna stop them from overtaking you, but what you're gonna do is prevent them from doing that properly and legally. And that way, you're going to put them into more danger and the people around them. So here's the rule of thumb, and it's very, very simple. If you see somebody behind you flashing their lights, they are faster than you, move out of the way. Always remember, the overtaking lane is for, wait for it, overtaking. Once you've done that, get back to the other side. Same concept as if when you go to a fast food restaurant or your favorite coffee shop, you don't start to think about your order once you get to the counter. You should already have your order in your head by the time you get to the front of the counter. Don't waste your time by going, ay, ano bang masarap dito? It doesn't help anybody. As a matter of fact, it just aggravates people. That's the same thing that happens on our roads. But unlike your friendly neighborhood coffee shop, this could be totally lethal when you push people the wrong way. So I hope that answers your question. If you have any more questions for us, send it through. Just use the hashtag AskJames and we'll find you. Till next week, I'm James Seeker for Ask James, brought to you by Bridgestone. See you soon.